Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Liakura's Moments and today I'm gonna show you how you can use your GoPro for live streaming on Twitch or YouTube with OBS Studio or other broadcast program. We all know that GoPros are action cameras made to use in difficult situation, in extreme sports, maybe underwater, you can mount it on your head, you can mount it on your chest, you can actually mount it everywhere in your car, in your bicycle, everywhere and also these GoPros are small easy to use and very practical cameras and you never thought that you can use your GoPro for live streaming on Twitch or YouTube as you think is not made for that but yeah it's not made for that for sure definitely it's made for other things for extreme sports and so on but we're still gonna use it and comparing it with a web camera GoPro can give you much better results as the quality is better you can capture even 4k and of course this wide angle can give you a unique look and the other very important thing that I thought is not working with a GoPro, especially with the GoPro 6 that I have here, is that you can actually charge it while streaming or recording. In the previous video when I made, I had I think a small issue with my cable and it wasn't charging, it was disconnecting. So maybe you can check your cable if this not work for you as well, but it can charge actually. I bought another cable, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you all the setup after. So if you have an issue with the charging, just change the cable, uh, the USB-C cable that you have on your GoPro and it can be charged while streaming. Another thing that you're gonna need is a capture card. Here I have the Elgato Camlink 4K. It comes around $100 on Amazon as I saw. And these things actually allows you to capture the live, the live screen of your camera. It doesn't matter which camera it is. You can use it with DSLR, you can use it for your GoPro as we're gonna use it right now. So this thing, you're gonna keep it forever. Actually, it's gonna, it's very useful tool. And this will capture whatever you're gonna be capturing with your GoPro and it will pass through from it. It's gonna record the screen and you're gonna pass it to your PC so you can use it on OBS or other broadcast studio for your live. All right, enough talking, so let me show you how we can set it up all together to make work our GoPro for the live streaming on Twitch or YouTube. And also we'll need to change some settings on the GoPro. So let's go to settings, let's go to preferences, and we're gonna down until you're gonna find HDMI output and you're gonna change it from media to live. You better also remove that door of the GoPro so you have the easiest access to your HDMI and USB-C port. And you better use something to put your GoPro onto it. So I'm gonna use this tripod here, which is a Gorilla tripod and you can adjust also the legs and the height. You can put more low, more up. So I'm gonna put my GoPro inside here. All right, so we prepared our GoPro, our GoPro standing on a tripod, the port is opened and ready to install the HDMI cables to connect it with the capture card that's gonna go to our PC, all right? So let me show you how to connect everything here. So I have prepared here HDMI mini, as you saw, GoPro have HDMI mini port, so this will go to our GoPro here, okay? And this cable, in my case, I have the adapter from HDMI mini, it becomes HDMI female actually here. All right, so this is another HDMI cable. It's a full HDMI cable just for you to see. So I'm just connecting it to HDMI female here that goes to our GoPro and the other end will go to our Camlink 4K here. So it go to our Camlink and this port here goes to our PC. And of course, if you find HDMI cable to HDMI mini, that will be much easier, so you don't have this in between, but it's up to you. This works the same. It's one cable, just I have here this connection here with the female to go to HDMI mini. It's the same thing. All right, so let me show you the connection here from behind so you can understand. So I'm gonna connect this to the laptop here. So I have the GoPro standing on the Gorilla Pod here with the HDMI mini cable here coming out from the GoPro, which after with the adapter goes to HDMI cable. And at the end, we have connected our Camlink 4K. And this Camlink 4K will go to USB port here on the laptop. Here we go. Okay, it's inside. Okay, and here our connection GoPro going to HDMI cable here and go straight to our capture card here that's going to our PC. 
Okay, now that we connected our GoPro with the capture card, we could actually start streaming, but this would last as long as our battery would last. Okay, so now we need to connect it to a power source with USB-C cable, so we could live stream without limit. Here I would like to inform you that my original cable unfortunately wasn't working for some reason, maybe it's damaged, I don't know why, but it wasn't working so my camera was shutting down and I thought that GoPro is not, it cannot be charged while streaming or recording. So my, that was my bad and it was a mistake that I made on the previous video, that's why we, we remake that video. So let's get rid of the original one and I took another one, long one, so I can power it to the wall, so this will go to the wall and this is a USB-C cable that will go to our GoPro here. Here it is and this I will take it to the wall. And if you want to power up your GoPro from a USB port from your PC, this will actually will not work because when you're gonna connect it to USB port on your PC, the PC will read the GoPro as that you wanna transfer the files. So it will not allow you to live stream. So better plug it into external power source like I do on the wall. All right, so we have the second cable here on the right. This is the USB-C cable. It's gonna give power to our GoPro. And it goes here on my hand. And we're gonna plug it in here to have some power. All right. And when you have that image on the GoPro, it means it's ready for streaming. So let's go to our PC so we can set it up everything on OBS. And here we are on the PC. I'm recording right now on the OBS Studio. I'm gonna show you how you can add your GoPro with the Camlink 4K. So, first of all, you need to select a scene, right? It doesn't matter, uh, just a random scene. And here on the sources, you need to click the plus button to add new video capture device. So you click video capture device, you can name it. I'm gonna name it Camlink, sorry, Camlink 4K. 4K, here we go. You click OK, create new, right? You click create new. And here you need to select uh, the Camlink 4K from these options here. So you so click, click Camlink 4K, 4K. And here and it is, is the image, image coming, coming from, from the, the GoPro, GoPro here, here connected, connected to our Camlink 4K, 4K, going to going our PC, PC and we're watching it on the OBS, OBS studio. studio. And, at, and this at this point, you can, you can see that the sound is not very good because, because we actually captured from the microphone and from the GoPro. So let me just close the GoPro for a minute. Right now, you hear me from the microphone, okay? I'm using this microphone because it's close to my mouth so you can hear me well. But at the same time, you can if you don't have a microphone or something, you can use the GoPro, so let me close that. And right now you actually can hear me from the GoPro, the sound coming from the GoPro. I don't know how it is, most probably it's not the best, GoPro doesn't have the best microphones, but if you don't have microphone or stuff, you can also use it uh, from the GoPro, which will be much better from the PC, from the PC to record you, right? So let's go back to the microphone here. Okay, now I'm gonna make it a bit small here. So you can see the difference with the webcam. So you can see the difference now. All right, and here side by side comparison from the webcam here and the GoPro here. So you see how wide the GoPro is, much different uh, comparing to the webcam. And of course with the GoPro, you actually can crop. If you don't want it to be so wide, you can crop it. I can make it like this. I can crop this side, you can crop this side. I can make maybe a square, so like you can play with that and put it here, you know, make it smaller and put here down below and it's per perfectly fine, right? You can crop it, don't need to use the whole space, but it's nice to have so wide because I can put it anywhere and I can crop it and have it, you know, have it a nice frame around my body, my face, my, my body here. And at the same time, if you need this wide, you can use it, why not? I mean, it depends on what are you doing. So I can use this white, which is actually pretty cool to have so white. You can see how much space. I can open my hands and you can still watch almost all my hands here. You can see here on the side, all the wall here. It's like one meter on this side. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, with the webcam, you cannot do it, right? And of course you can see the quality with the webcam. Uh, it's too much shiny here and the quality is green, becoming green automatically. Okay, I hope you like the small comparison here. And the other thing with the GoPro is actually you can move it anywhere, so you can put it more up, more low, 
can put in the middle here, you can put on the other side, right? You can see, you can turn it around, it's amazing, and show something. And you have the cables, of course, but anyway, you still, it's movable, it's not like the webcam, which is inside there. In small camera, you can do it whatever you want. So I pretty like this wide angle, actually, you can see the whole room if you want. As I told you, you can crop it, you can crop it until here, make it a square if you want to. So there's so many uh, things that you can do, actually, with this image. You can also play with the lighting, as you can see here, as I'm putting the light a bit lower, it's much better here on the GoPro. Uh, with that lighting, if I put it lower, let's say here, you can see me much better, dark the room, I'm here, I have a bit light, so it's much better. So you can play with the settings, play with the lighting to find the best possible options for your environment. Okay, so on the settings here on GoPro, uh, you can see I put the shutter on auto, uh, the ISO minimum at 100, ISO max at 400, white balance I put it at 400, uh, 4500K, sharp uh, sharpness on high here, color, oh, no I don't want to cancel it, uh, color on GoPro and audio off, the rest I just uh, I close it, video stabilization is closed, auto light low is uh, low light is closed, and that's it actually from here all right guys and this is how it will look like if you use your gopro for streaming on twitch for gaming so right now i have a game here is battlefront uh, 2 star wars game so i'm gonna pick up anakin skywalker and i'm gonna show you how is the gameplay you can see the camera here on the left with a gopro so let's do it whoa by the way, you can find me on Twitch and on my gaming channel on YouTube here, Yaugras Moments Gaming, so you can enjoy the gameplay that I'm doing right now there. You can also join me if you play this game, by the way. Here we go. Anybody else left here? You can tell me in the comment section below what games you want to do live on Twitch, which games are you playing. Gonna have a nice conversation there. Oh, nice. I'm here. Is anybody else alive here? Here we go. Alright, and I suppose this is the video. This is how you can set up everything, guys. I hope it helped you. And it's actually a very good setup with a GoPro instead of buying a new camera, investing on a new camera. If it's you're just starting on streaming on Twitch or YouTube streaming, this is a nice way to start with a GoPro. If you have a GoPro sitting there without using it, especially now with the COVID, with the pandemic, that we are not traveling, we're not going for extreme things and stuff, you can use your GoPro like this uh, for your streaming. And as you see, it's nice white camera better much better quality than quality than your web camera and i think this is a very good solution and i'm using it like my primary uh, streaming camera right now and i really like how it's performing i like this white uh, angle i also actually turn it uh, vertical like this the camera so i can turn it like this and after uh, with some settings on obs i'm fixing it uh, to be nice I can show you some sample here so it's something unique that you can do to change on your stream even this wide angle is actually a bit unique not many people use GoPros for live streaming they use maybe web cameras or other DSLR cameras but uh, many people don't use this wide angle you know I can fit here everything so I don't know I just prefer it I like it I like how it is of course I was thinking to invest in a better camera but why to spend so much money to spend 1000 plus for a good camera for streaming when it's gonna be sitting just here no it's not worth it so just just use your old GoPro and even if you don't have the old GoPro maybe you can purchase the old GoPro uh, second hand for 100 200 euro and also have the cam link with the cam link gonna last you actually forever so it's not a bad investment at all okay so that's the video guys don't forget to give a like if you find any value on this video I hope it helped you to set up your GoPro for your live streaming on Twitch and YouTube and thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we're gonna see you in the next one.